Today's project is all about texture and value. We're going to create a textured heart, paint it, and then glue it to paper. Now this project was actually inspired by an artist named Jim Dine. Jim Dine created so many colorful pieces of works and many of them actually included hearts like this. This is one of his paintings and it's titled The Little Heart in the Landscape. And he created colorful pieces, large and small. He drew them, he painted them, he sculpted them. This is another one of his hearts. This one has just a little bit more color. But looking at his work, I thought we could use it as inspiration and do our own heart art. So let's go ahead and get started. These are the supplies that you're gonna need for today's heart work. We need glue, I have tacky glue here, a paintbrush, a marker, any color will work, a pair of scissors, and then two sheets of paper. One paper is gonna be where we create the heart, the other paper is gonna be the background for our heart. And these can be any color, but you do want your paper to have a little bit of thickness to it. I'm using cardstock for mine. And then you also want aluminum foil. I cut my foil about twice the size of one of these sheets of paper. And then paper towel for our paint and acrylic paint. So you're gonna need one solid color of paint and then a little bit of black and some white paint. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is draw a heart. So using one sheet of paper and your marker, we're gonna start toward the top and we're gonna draw our heart. Now your heart that you draw can be any size on this paper. It can be small, large, or medium size. So go ahead and follow along with me. I'm gonna start at the top part of our heart and draw one curved line. And I'm gonna come back to the top from this point and do another curved line on the other side. And where we left off on the bottom, I'm going to draw an angled line. It almost looks like a V to connect those two curves. Okay, so there's our heart. Let's go ahead and take our scissors and follow the line that we just drew and cut it out. Now your marker can show on the heart. You don't have to be exact with this. We are going to end up covering our heart. So if marker is left on your heart, that is completely fine. Just go all the way around. And we have a heart. So what we're going to do with this is add some texture. Right now we've got a smooth texture on our paper. So we're going to add foil on top of our heart. Now if I look at this foil right here and I touch it, it's, it's smooth and it's shiny. But I want to add more of a bumpy texture to this. So I'm going to open up my foil can open up yours as well and now we're going to crunch it up into a ball very gently. So just like you were going to fold this up, maybe throw it away, fold it into a ball and press together very gently and we're going to have to open it back up so you don't want to press too tight where you can't find the edges. So now that I've got my ball here, I'm going to look for the foil edges and I'm gonna to begin to pull this apart gently and unravel it so that I get what's almost back to a flat piece of foil. So go ahead and open up your foil. Now foil is fairly easy to rip and tear, so if it does tear as you're opening it up, don't worry about it. Just keep pulling at it. Gently pull out all these edges and get it so that it's pretty much flat. Now as I'm pulling this apart, we can begin to see the texture on our foil. It's no longer smooth. And I'm just working through each corner to try to get it back as flat as I can. Here we go. So look at that pretty texture, all these lines, all these bumps, all these new crevices. So we are going to wrap our heart in this foil. So go ahead and place your heart in the middle of your foil 
and we're just gonna wrap the heart. So, so finding the edge of your paper heart, take your foil and fold it over and find the edge now on your foil and press down on the back side of your heart. And you want when you find the edge of your heart, you just kind of want to smooth it out with your finger so that you get that nice clean edge. And I'm just pressing down as I find the edge and fold my foil over. So I'm beginning to see the outline of this heart shape from my paper. Now you'll notice as I'm folding my foil over, I'm left with this big chunk in the back. So we can always just rip it off to make it easier to work with. So just tear some of that foil that's right on the back side. Now I can see more of my heart. So here's my paper heart, here's the foil. I want to continue finding the edge of my paper and pressing down on the foil. Back side. Now the reason we chose a heavier paper for our heart is so that it's easy to find the edge when we fold this paper over. And it's not gonna crumple up with the foil. So just keep finding your edge, moving your foil on over. And again, I'm left with this big chunk here, so I'm just gonna tear it. Put that to the side. And keep working with the heart all the way around. And then once my heart is full of foil, I'm just gonna one more time go back to the edge, make sure it's folded, the foil is folded over, and right in this crease, this point up here, I'm gonna go extra tight. Go all the way around and make sure it's folded. And then I wanna press down on the back as much as I can. I don't want a lot of air between the foil and the paper. So press that foil down. Now you will have a little bit of a bump in the back because the foil is here, but that'll help lift your, lift your heart off the paper once we glue it to our background. So now we have a textured heart. If you look down here, you see all these crevices and these bumps in there. If there's anything you need to fix with your foil, go ahead and do that. But now we are ready to paint this. So you can grab your paintbrush and start with your solid color. So I have blue here and we are going to soak our brush in paint. And with short brush strokes, we're gonna go all the way around the heart, filling it with one solid color. Now because we've got a lot of texture in our heart, you might have to move your paintbrush around, dip it a little bit inside those creases because we wanna cover all of that oil, all that silver should be covered in your paint. Okay, so mine is now covered in blue, even this bottom tip right here. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some value to our heart. And when in art, when we talk about value, we're talking about the range of a color. So I've got blue here. So my range of blue could be a very, very light blue all the way to a very, very dark blue. And to achieve a good range of colors, we add in white and we add in black paint. So when we add white to a color, we call that a tint. And when we add black to a color, we call that a shade. So we're gonna begin with the color white. So I'm gonna clean off my blue paint off my brush just a little bit with this paper towel. And I'm going to add in some white. So go ahead and stick your paintbrush in your white paint and then choose an area on your heart for this white paint to go. We're just gonna add it into one section for now. So I'm gonna pick this upper right part of my heart and you'll see already that as I added in my white paint, my blue has lightened, lightened up. Not a ton, but there's definitely a change in the blue. So just keep moving your white paint around until you've achieved a new color. We don't want the white to show, we wanna blend it in. So mine is just a little bit lighter than what I have over here, but I want it even more lighter. So I'm gonna add a little bit more white. 
So right in the same section, I'm just going around short brush strokes. I'm kind of going in a circular motion here. And now you can see that my blue color has changed even lighter this time with more white. And I'm just moving the white around until I get a good blend of this new blue that I have. Okay, so we see that this area right here is now lighter than the original color, but it's not, it's not blended. It kind of jumps real quick from this blue to this blue. So we want to blend that in a little bit so it's a gradual change. So go back and dip your paintbrush into your, um, your base color here. And right along the edge of your new color, I'm gonna kinda just pull that in and mix it just a little, just short brush strokes from the dark color into the light color. And I'm just going around that lighter, that lighter shape. And I'm just kinda working the paint until I think that it's blended where I like it. And that's the neat thing about acrylic paint is you can keep layering and keep blending until you get the color that you like best. Let's just keep moving it around and blending it. Okay. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit more white, but just a tad right here. I just wanna lighten up this one section. I'm gonna go even just a little bit lighter. Clean my brush, I got a little bit too much white on there. And again, I'm just blending it. And you'll see that it lightened up my blue even more. I'm just moving it around and blending it there. So now we've got this tint right here of, of white that we added to our blue. Now we're gonna play with the black. So with black, you definitely do not need a lot. It's better to start with just a little black and add more as you go. Now my blue color is, it's already pretty dark. If you've used like a yellow or a light pink, you might want to even use less black than I have on my brush because a little black goes a long way. So just a little bit of black. And I'm going to choose this um, bottom corner over here to add my black to. I'm just going to put in a few dots of black. And now I'm going to use my brush to blend that in along this bottom edge. And so you'll see that it went a little bit darker, but I want to go just a tad more. So here's a little bit more black, and again, I'm just going to dot it and then slowly blend it together with these short brush strokes. I'm going from the edge where I want it the darkest, and then I'm moving my brush into the blue to blend that dark to light. So now we've got a darker shade of blue down here at the bottom. We can even go a little bit darker depending on what color you have now. It's a little bit darker. And I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring the black up even in, in the center. And I'm just bringing the black up with short brush strokes, blending it into the blue. And I'm not pressing down too hard with my brush, just a little. There. So now we have a heart that has a good range of value in it. We've got a lighter blue over here, a little bit medium shade of blue, and then we slowly go darker. So now our heart, once it dries, would be ready to glue onto paper. So mine's not dry yet, but I'm gonna show you what the step would be if once yours is dry. So now you would go ahead and take your background paper. I'm gonna use white, but in the past I've used several different colors, even black. You could even use a, maybe even the same color that you painted here to give it a nice, a nice look. So for this case, we're just gonna turn it over and we're going to use our glue and line the edge of your heart with glue. Get some in the middle. And then figure out where do you wanna place your heart? Do you want it toward the bottom corner? Do you want it in the middle, toward the top? Wherever you want it, 
then go ahead and place that down on your paper. You don't have to press hard, just make sure you feel that the glue is, ad is adhering to the paper. And then you can set it aside and let that fully dry. And that is the heart for today. So we can thank Jim Dine for all of his heart inspiration, his millions of paintings of hearts, and we can continue working with, um, with paint and learning how to add value to our painting. But I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and I look forward to seeing you next time.